How's it? Indian Cowboy to Oxford.com connect you on Tuesday, August the 15th as we get this video to you. Have your free play winner in just a second. Your free play winner today is going to be between the Pirates and the Mets. Also going to give you some thoughts here on Oakland, St. Louis, and Detroit, Minnesota. And uh, YouTube premiums between the Yankees and Braves, Angels and Rangers, and Boston and Washington. Hello, I'm Indian Cowboys at Sports. Indian Cowboys has been around for 19 years. Doc Sports has been around for uh, 53 years. Have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. Welcome to my podcast. Our best selections are over at DocSports.com under Rune Chima. Our next best selections are YouTube Premium Selects, where we give you a couple extra thoughts every single day, all for just $20 a month, um, including uh, a live show once a week on Wednesday nights as uh, we talk about ball games in depth. And uh, it's kind of our uh, how, you, how we teach you how to fish channel. And again, all for just $20 a month, probably one of the best deals on the internet where you get about 200 selections, all uh, for just $20. Uh, which is pretty awesome. Our final best selection are free picks and leans on our daily video, which is what you're watching right now. The link to YouTube Premium is in the comment section, as well as the link to how to get free $60 with the premium selections. Want more content? Hop onto our Twitter. It has our uh, trends on late night ball games, our hot takes on sports, and our latest updates. All right, we've won three in a row in baseball. We try to make it four in a row today. Um, it's been it's been a good run in baseball. Um, we won yesterday again on what did we win yesterday? We gave you. Uh, the Rays over the Giants on Monday, which was a 10-2 winner. We gave you the Twins plus the 100 over the Phillies on Saturday, 3-0 winner. And on Friday, we gave you the Cardinals over the Royals, which was a 5-4 winner. That actually should say Monday, Sunday, for uh, Saturday. But three in a row, we try to go for four in a row today. Uh, so, having said that, I like the over here with Pittsburgh and the Mets. Uh, Pittsburgh lost 2-7, and I thought they would actually do better, honestly, lost back-to-back -back games. The Mets have won back-to-back -back games now. A falter and Peterson here. Falter went four innings, eight hits, and four runs against Atlanta. I think the Mets have a letdown after their recent win of sorts, pitching-wise. Peterson here. Peterson has been all over the place recently, though he did have a decent start in his last game. Honestly, I think this line is a bit low, and I think Pitt can be an active dog, and I think Peterson can get rocked as well, and therefore I like the over between these two teams today. So you can take a look at... I might change the free play halfway through here, by the way. Uh, but yeah, the over eight and a half is what it is right now. However, the more I look at this, the more I am tempted, uh, to give you the over between the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to change it. I'm going to go with the over with the St. Louis Cardinals and I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, I don't like the line movement, honestly, in the Pittsburgh game, but I like the over nine and a half in the Oakland St. Louis Cardinals game. And I think that's safer. So I like the over nine and a half here as Watkins and Hudson face each other. So a couple things here. Um, I think Oakland's bats have started to turn around a little bit. Um, they put together 12, 15 runs in the last two games. Hudson went five innings, seven hits, and three runs in his last game against Tampa Bay, four, nine, and five against the Cubs. Obviously, the cards have the edge here, but Oakland it can be an active dog. And whenever this line is situated for Oakland, um, this around 225 line, and they always seem to have their bats going when they face the National League. So, and given the fact that there's, you know, you have a St. Louis team that has to kind of get going as far as their bats are concerned, and they put together, you know, St. Louis actually has been pretty decent lately, finally scoring some runs. They put together 19, you know, 24 and 31 runs over the last five starts, and now they're facing a young pitcher. I know the total is high here in St. Louis, sitting at 9.5, but the first total was that way when these two teams faced off. I thought these two teams might be going steadily over anyway when they faced off, and the first total was set at 9, and there were 12 runs scored. And I think this one's going to be the same thing. I think the bat's going to be rolling today again, and I like the over between these two teams, and that's what we're going to go with for our free play over nine and a half between Oakland and St. Louis. Although I do like the lean on Pittsburgh, the Mets over as well. Finally, I like the Twins run line today as well. Detroit lost three to six in their last game and lost two of three to the Red Sox in the last series. The Twins uh, come off back-to-back -back games uh, of winning. Fado and over here. Fado went four innings, four hits, three runs against Minnesota. He went 6-1-0 oh against San Diego before that. Ober went five innings, 11 hits, and four runs against Detroit. He did beat Baltimore twice in his latest two starts to his credit. I think it. Uh, I think he does well here. The Tigers coming off a loss, and I think Fredo having some revenge here makes sense. So I'm going to go with the Twins run line. You get a pitcher. Um, you get. I'm sorry. You get Minnesota here uh, coming off back-to-back -back wins. You have a Minnesota team here with uh, Bailey that comes off. He has the immediate revenge against Detroit, uh, and then you have Alex here who just beat Minnesota in his last contest. And I think. Uh, and I think the Twins. This looks to me like a five-three type of ball game for the Minnesota Twins. That's what we have for you guys. Hope you guys know what. Please take a moment to like and subscribe, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cap, working hard for you every single day.